done. If you have a breakdown you want to show by, you can drag that to also to legend. Maybe I want to show by branch. Just like if I do that, this is going to be really very crowded. Huh? So if I drag branch here, uh, I don't know if you like what it will the way it will show, but then let me just show you what I mean. Uh, I need to, when you do that, you need to have only one thing in value anyway. So if I, okay. So that's almost similar, just that for what I want to do, since I already have them as different fields, I'm just going to drag uh, directly to values. Okay, so that is done. And then uh, I'm going to alter some of the labeling and uh, maybe a bit of even the size of the font. So I'm going to say, I don't want, uh, let's go with the title first and just alter some things about the title. The sales and targets by by pizza. Okay, so that does it makes it centralized. Okay, and uh, if I want to reduce the font size of this label, so maybe they they can show a bit a bit bigger. Then I can go to the let's see, let's try the y-axis. I think it is the lowest one can do. So well, uh, not too bad. I'm just going to leave it at at at, at this. You already get your bigger concept, right? Of how you of how you add the the, the bar chart and the options you get there. So I'm going to move on to another visual. This video is getting a bit long so we're going to try to hurry up with the other visuals and other things so that you can see the beauty of the work and then take some rest huh? so i move on to i want to add a card so card is one visual you will use a lot also too this is a card there's also multi-row card which works like card but allows you to do like a breakdown maybe I'm going to do sales now, but what if you want to do sales by branch, then use the multi-row card. So I'm just going to use card, and then I'm going to say, I just want to display what the sales amount is. So card displays one important metric. And I'm going to drag this here. I'm going to try to maintain the uh, look we've been using so far so I'm going to say it should have a tie to uh, so that it doesn't have double title I'm going to turn off the category and say it should just be one title I need and the title should be like I should display total sales and centralize and as usual give it a background color so if i like this that i've done and maybe just reduce the with a bit the height if i like this i can copy so i select this i copy which is ctrl c or you copy from uh, there used to be copy here also yeah copy from home and then you paste, which is Control V, or you paste here, whichever you do. I use the keyboard shortcut a lot more, but then just so you can see my steps clearly, I have opted to use the button approach. So quantity, and I'm going to change this to title to quantity. So this will help us see the quantity that was sold. Okay, and. Uh, Okay, so this is looking good. I also want to, so moving on to another one, I want to show you there's this visual called KPI. A lot of people keep asking me, oh, KPI, that sounds awesome. You know, how do I use it? Yeah, it sounds awesome, but then the implementation here is something that doesn't work with what most people will like to do. So let me show you how it works. Huh? So when you pick KPI, it allows you to say, okay, what's the indicator? So in this case, 
the indicator is the value that uh, you want to track you know like what's the kpi itself so in this case is the sales amount right i want to see if our sales amount is meeting target so that means automatically the target is sales target amount so that goes to the target and then i want to see these you know over what so let's say i want to see this over the different months so because those targets are actually also monthly right so if i drag the year months to axis then that happens so it looks nice the only thing is that this is always doing for the last month let's check it out four nine five six one two can you see eight four eight two so it's just the last month even if I'm picking an entire year. So you'll be thinking, oh, this is showing me for like the entire period I selected. Nope. This just shows you the last period. So you can just uh, be careful in your label so that the user will know that that is what is seeing that for. Even though this might be reflecting the ups and downs over the period, but this is always, this they are looking at is always showing for the last. So we can see the recent sales versus target. So I'm going to modify the title and call it recent sales or latest sales that might look more meaningful latest sales uh, versus target maybe most recent might be easier for the user to read most recent sales versus targets okay so that is that is done i'm going to tell it to centralize and i'm going to uh, background color all right so that is looking like it i'm going to increase the height in between that maybe I should increase the height of this one then. all right then uh, what other things should we do let's just throw in another table right so like I mentioned uh, matrix is the preferred one and uh, I'm also going to show I'm going to try to show by the different branches what the uh, discount so the manager management can see you know how much these quantities are sold at some discounted amount so that means I want to drag branch to rows mm -hmm. and then I want to show for the disc different discount possible so these are the possible discounts that can be given what's the total quantities that were sold at a particular discount rate okay uh, this is looking really big so i'm going to try and adjust the size so i'm going to go to here i'm going to say i want to change the the size of the entire grid okay so that that's done it i'm going to turn off the one of the totals let's see which one i'm going to turn off so i'm going to turn off the uh that's the column total so if i go here and i go to the subtotals i turn off the column totals all right so this is now beginning to look a bit too tiny so let's say i up it one more let's see if this is uh, let's see if this becomes a that's why i say when it's power bi you have to be good with with um I, uh, why all these has changed is because I clicked on it. So if I clicked on it again, you know, it's going to unselect it and I get back everything. Okay, so uh, what 
should we give this a title too or should we just ignore giving it a title let's see if we can have space enough to plug in a title into this so let's try and add a title i go here i title title turn on title and then i type quantity by discount rate quantity by discount rate center line So I'm back to the problem I had before, and I think it's come. It, it, it's it's now more pronounced, kind of. So I'm going to try and create more space for it. Just do a bit of some readjustment, and make this. I still have some spaces to the right of this. Huh? Can use that space. I drag this down a bit more okay so that's good just drag this to keep up with that size and this I'm going to drag it up okay all right so Let's see. Yeah, this is not looking bad. Let's put some spacing in between them so they don't get too. All right. So if you want the spacings to be like perfect, huh? So I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm going to. I'm going to select all of this. So I hold, I have down the control key anyway. So this will select all of those. It, it, it might lag a bit by some seconds, but it will do it. Then if you go to the format, right, you are able to do a line. So in this case, you know, if you use this in PowerPoint or some other tools, it's the same concept. I'm going to say distribute horizontally. So it's going to like perfectly space them. Huh? Then I can. Uh, if I will, uh, so anyway, I think that's done it. I'm okay with that. Uh, any other thing missing in here? Okay, so we are kind of done with the look, and uh, what is left is if I want to control what each managers can, like each branch team can see, then I go to modeling. I'm going to add an access control. So I go manage roles. So I click on manage roles. I start creating roles and say, okay. Maybe there is going to be general manager. So general manager can see everything. Huh? I'm not going to limit him. So I'm going to say there is Bagada team. So Bagada team, they can only see, you know, where their branch, where the branch is just their own branch, which is Bagada, right? So as to be faster, I'm going to copy this, do create again. I'm going to say Ibadan team. And I just come in here, paste, making sure that it's in this branch table. If it was here, I would have clicked that table. But the, what I'm doing, I'm limiting it to the branch table. Branch table controls the entire other tables that have branches, if you remember that. So, Ibadon, right? Uh, I create again, Ikoyi team. I hope you notice that I'm not clicking save until I'm done. If you click save, you will have to come back here and do manage rules uh, to create additional ones. So it's better you create all what you want to create before you do save. Uh, I'm going to call this Lekin. I'm going to do the one last one, Sudere. And I paste. So the name you give it here doesn't really matter. It is what you type in here that determines the, the behavior. So once I'm done, I do save. 
you can even preview what it will look like if you do viewers and uh, you can pick any of the branch and it will preview for you how someone assigned that rule we see the entire report so it's you're going to see just for their for their branch so that is working across everything right so you will see everything has changed boom right so i'm going to uh stop there and uh, so that is it for for this video so next section is we're going to go into the power bi service make sure you repeat all of this i'm going to attach the the completed file so you can compare if you have made a mistake anywhere you can be able to to see where you've made a mistake but please make sure you do the whole from scratch you know up to here so thank you see you in the next video